Hello, friends. It is me, the Dustin. How do you do? There's not like a ton of delay on my voice right now, is there? Like, that's just on my end. Where's the, where's the game? There it is. Anyway, it's been about a week or so. I uh, haven't streamed in about a week. But I've gotten some things done in the meantime, like, uh... I've cleaned up my room a bit. I've sort of echo treated it. So we're going to be getting less echo. Hopefully. And I, I got a ring light. Right now it's just on my monitor, but the problem is is that if I look too far up, I, I become Sans Undertale. <laughs> But yes, much has occurred. Much has occurred. Let me let me see about the volume. Checking. Checking, testing. Game might be a little loud. Check, check. Yeah. Check, check. Testing. Testing. Checking. Check, check. Hello. Burrito. Potato. Potato. Timothy. I don't know, what do you think? Because I have done a little bit of tweaking. The old spicy tweak. You feel me? Sounds okay. You know what, I'll put it down like half a decibel. Maybe. Uh, maybe that's too much. I don't know, just... Tell me if it needs to go up, whatever. Anyway, like I said last time, we're gonna do chapter five, but first, there is a mission that I would like to accomplish first. Very important mission, and you will you will see why. Maybe not right away, but you will see why. But yeah, like I said, I echo treated my room. So now that I mean there's less reverberation. What do you what do you need me to say? Especially when I- when I say things like, CHECK CHECK CHECK! Uh, thanks to Kovar for helping me out with that. I'm after an elusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. Yeah, I wanna take that on. Do it and do it right. Got it. But yes, Ko Kovar has been a very big help on this stream. The man- the man knows his stuff. Oh, there's Luigi. Well, I haven't heard his story yet. Well, I headed to Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty exciting, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they had cart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes, right there on the trophy they gave to the winner. 
It was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed dead away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was to enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in kart races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out of there pronto. Those drivers were crazed. But I worked up my courage and signed up anyway. And my race day finally came. I got one of the best carts, the big green 01. I took my position at the start line. The light went green, I stomped the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse. The big green 01 went skyrocketing backwards with me yelling. I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut me off mid-scream. Perfectly cut Luigi scream. In one fair swoop, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. The other carts crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece off my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and it pointed me towards Jazafras town in the east. Then I heard that voice. Princess Eclair's voice echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess, random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so after that, I got back on my boat and came back here to Rogueport. And that's what's been up with me. Okay, so this guy said, yeah, I'm Torque, and don't for a second think this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it, idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. Oh, and also last time we bought... Uh, we bought Luigi... <laughs> Luigi's autobiography. Have you ever experienced a time where no matter how hard you tried, you failed, and the time you spent felt wasted? Yeah. If you ever feel such pangs of regret, try to remember this tale. The story of a young man's quest to save a sweet princess. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't be narrating this as Luigi. The day dawned like any other, but little did Luigi know the letter he was about to receive would forever change his destiny. Sir Luigi, danger besets us on all sides, and we beg your help. The foul Chestnut King has stolen our beloved princess. The letter was from Minister Crepe of the Waffle Kingdom, a man aware of Luigi's many adventures. He knew only Luigi could save them. Charged with this dire task, Luigi wasted no time curtailing the heroic meal he was making. Then he packed for his deadly journey. Knowing that his older, though less talented brother was out on a no doubt inconsequential errand, Luigi took a moment to leave a note. Mix a keel mango with a peachy peach to whip up a fruit parfait. Oh. These cryptic words were all Luigi wrote before leaving. Upon reaching the Waffle Kingdom, Luigi was greeted by pure misery, an endless flow of tears over the kidnapping of Princess Eclair. Arriving at the castle, Luigi was greeted by Minister Crepe, who carefully handed him a compass base with only one intact section. Our land once had a special treasure, the marvelous compass. Find its seven parts and find Eclair. So it began to be continued. Many stories. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Mm, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I've failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair, of that much I'm sure. I went to check that room after you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? Okay, I can do that. I can make that happen very quickly. Yes, I know it's the pipe to Pedalberg. You don't gotta tell me twice. 
Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. I'm back in town. Big Dick is back in town, baby. <laughs> yes, Goombella, I, I know. Yeah, these <laughs> these triggers have no like travel time at all. No, 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 no. So anyway, since I believe the la the last stream of this game, another new Mario RPG has been announced. This one is actually not a remake. Mario and Luigi Brothership. And it looks pretty good. I wasn't entirely sold on the graphical style at first, like mostly the environment, but the way the characters are depicted is downright gorgeous. So yeah, it definitely feels... <coughs> oh, excuse me. It definitely feels like Nintendo is trying to... You know, bring the Mario RPGs back into the saddle. Back into gear, you feel me? Three... And yeah, I was telling Miles, it's got 3D smear frames, which is... Very wacky. Also, you can just do this now. Just, like, flutter across. <laughs> so, I guess you gotta go to Hooktail's room. And use Flurry. <coughs> mm. I think I inhaled my own spit. Which is not a good thing to do. The spit is not supposed to go in your lung. If it is in there, uh, please consider removing it immediately. Hold on, let me clear my... Okay, we are good. They sure do make you come back to Hooktail's castle a whole lot. I forget, there was like a, a pipe up here that took you back up, right? Maybe it was over there, on the leg. But yeah, my only regret is that because of its continuity heavy nature, well maybe not heavy, but continuitous nature, I'm probably not going to be streaming Brothership because I, I want to get through the other Mario and Luigi games first. But I will someday. But we got five other ones we got to do at some point. And I was gonna, I was gonna play Superstar Saga before uh, Thousand Year Door, but you know, <laughs> life had other plans. Granted, as far as changes of plans go, this, you know, you can do a lot worse than this. I forgot which is the way up. It is not here. Wait, what is this chest? Oh. Uh, okay. Just making sure. I've been greatly enjoying this game, so I'm happy with the change of plan. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you dig the vibe. You dig... You dig a hole. Uh, <clears throat> leave me alone! That being said, I think you'll dig the Mario and Luigi vibes as well. Durr. Come on, I just want to leave! These enemies are, like, so beneath me. I am always beneath you, but nothing 
He's been. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm okay. I'm I'm okay. I am. I'm gonna be fine. This isn't even the way, is it? Because I don't remember going this way last time. Uh, maybe it is, never mind. It just depends on if this leads me to the, uh... to the spike room. Which I am gonna have to go back to at some point soon. Okay, no. Jumping in time to the music a little bit. Okay, here we go. But I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to get past this guy. Oh, never mind. Okay. No, never mind. It's actually quite simple. We rotato. That's when a potato spins. Okay, this guy might be tricky. Eh, eh, eh. No, 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 no. Okay. The elusive badge. Is there any, like, floor panels in here? If there are, then I'm- I'm not finding them. Anyway, now we gotta go back. <laughs> It'd be cool if we had a quick warp back to Rogueport. I won't lie to you. But we don't. So, just gonna have to make the most of it. Is there something back here? No? You see, I would've hit something back there. Can I jump off? Again, I, I, I don't want to fight these men. It is not worth the time that I would spend doing it. But trust me, the- the reward for this quest is worth it. Well, well, maybe it is. It, it's arguable. It's arguably worth it. Depending on who you ask, it might be worth it. Luckily, going down is a lot easier than going up. No, don't touch me! Don't touch me, I'm sterile! Get away from me! You damned tortoise! I do not wish to speak to you. Hit the block, hit the block. <laughs> I 
I like that the music gets quieter the closer you get to Hooktail's castle. <sighs> no, no! Okay, we're almost done, and then we'll we'll move on with the actual game. Oh yeah, die, die, ye beast! This Yoshi's back is gonna hurt so bad by the time this game is over. <laughs> Wait, does she have a new taunt for- not new taunt, new tattle for Luigi? That's your butter- that's your brother Luby. Wait, no, I, I mean Lufa. No, I mean Luigi. If you wonder what Luigi's up to, I'm sure he'd tell you. All you gotta do is ask. In fact, it kind of looks like he's dying to tell you, so you ought to rap with him. That's Luigi's pal, Torque. I hear he's like a totally excellent mechanic. According to Mechanics Weekly, that tool on his back can basically do anything. He seems ticked off, though. I wonder what happened. Kirby! Kirby! How you doing, man? Oh. <laughs> does that- that face, does it mean you found the badge? Yes, here. Well, this is certainly the badge I was looking for. Oh my, yes. Congratulations- congratulations on your colleague. <laughs> now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hid that badge. It was a little game of mine. I have to apologize. But I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge-finding skill than I do. I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Because, <laughs> I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now about that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to leave me no more. Mouse. Now let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Miss Mouse joined your party. Yeah, so this is something completely new to this game. A completely optional partner. You do not have to recruit her at any point in the game, but if you do that mission, you can you can get an extra partner. She will sniff the surrounding air. If there are any items or objects hidden nearby, she'll point your point you toward their general direction. There should be something nearby. And yes. I mean, I think Miss Mouse is worth it, if nothing else, for finding stuff. But yeah, we'll see how she does in battle. Something nearby, huh? Like where? Oh! Oh, yeah. How right. Wait a second. I recruited Miss Mouse, and then the white mouse that was in the bad shop disappeared. I wonder where she went.
Okay, and now now we can proceed. Wait, how many how many shine sprites do I got? Two. Okay, so I can't wait. Where is it? Uh, I mean, I already checked up here. Oh, but she... I don't think I can get that yet. A spin jump panel in front of Frankly's. How did I not get that? You think I would have got that? <laughs> but anyway, now we got to show the the crystal star to the big old door. But first, let's let's stop by the badge man, see what kind of bags he has for sale. Nights into dreams here. I should probably buy this. Chill out. Never succumb to a first strike. That's pretty good. Power plus. Is he the one that sells quick change? Yeah, I got quick change. Dude, don't you worry about that, my friend. Power plus. I have one of those, but I could get another. You know, I'll get this. Could get that. You know, I'm gonna get another. I'm, I'm gonna get another power plus. And then I'm gonna get flower saver. Okay, now how many badge points do I have free right now? None. None at all. Let's try this out. I'm froggy, mousy, weird D. <laughs> Yeah, mouse gang. Hashtag mouse gang. I never get tired of this song. Wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. Show us the lesson that we must learn. You can't be serious. It's July 3rd and the fireworks have already started. I heard that. I heard the fireworks yesterday. Also, hey, how you doing? <laughs> They're just like, close enough. Set them off. And now we gotta go to the island, the pirate island. We must move quickly, love. Let's go to the professor's office, quick as a wink. We have to speak to him of Princess Peach's email. Mario is really good at catching people up to speed. Like, she joined me five minutes ago, and she already knows about the email and everything. Whoa, whoa what? The, that was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. 
And those fiends want to use the crystal stars to open the thousand year door and resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. While we're waiting, Professor, what did you find out? Hmm. This is rather long, so you best listen well. Are all of you ready? And you there, in front of the screen, you listen up too. You strange, strange man, what did that mean? Oh, never you mind! Don't worry about such trivial details, just listen. The great cataclysm that destroyed the city which was once stood here may well refer to this demon. It's said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by that monster. And that this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try and control the world. According to legend, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon. And they sealed its wicked spirit within the Palace of Shadow, locked behind the Thousand Year Door. Is it, we're always sealing something. <laughs> from this, I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determined if they're used for evil or good. Well, the way I see it, it may be entirely the wrong idea to collect these things. I feel as though the best course of action might be destro to destroy them utterly. That was my first thought too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the Crystal Stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed will shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Oh my, I suppose we'd better shake our tails and find the other Crystal Stars if we want to seal that demon. Tell me, Professor, where's the next one located? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keel Hall Key. Keel Hall Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Alright, is there anything in the trash can that I missed? Nope, I've been pretty good about tattling stuff. Oh. Coop poop hide and seek. What's up, Coops? After you found me, Coops, I found a nice hiding nook at a place called the Crystal Palace. Is that- Is that a Paper Mario 64 reference? It's so cold, my shell is frosty, but it's a great place for hiding. Obviously, I don't want anyone to find me, but the thing is, I do want people to see how good I am at hiding. You see the bind I'm in? Anyway, spread the word. Come find the wandering hide and seek Koopa. See you later. Or not. Hey, you know what? My daddy found a new job. He takes care of the little oinks in Toad Town. That is a Paper Mario 64 reference. He's all recharged now. I'm still not good at studying, but I'm trying so I can help my daddy. I don't know what I can do to help daddy yet, but I'm gonna study lots until I figure something out, okay? Well, see ya. Doing well from Jolene. Mario, or rather, the Great Gonzalez. I realized that I never thank you for handling my request, so I decided to email you. I never thought for a moment that you, a former champion, would end up taking care of the shit pants for me. After you left here, know what Mush said to me? He said, there are some things that can only be understood by fighting. He's an odd one, Mush. He's actually training now. Yes, he's planning a comeback. You should come by the Glitz Pit if you get some time. You're just the type of star the fans crave, you know? Take care, Jolene. Jolene. <laughs> Okay, go into the ocean. I got a notion that you will need some lotion. K key hole key. You mean the island where the treasure hold of Cortez, the pirate king, is hidden? So you want treasure, eh? Fine, but keep an eye out for the pirate's curse. Or, or keep an eye out, or the pirate's curse will get you. What? Key hole key. Oh, that place is absolutely awful, I've heard! Not 
too long ago. Ship after ship went there hunting treasure, but none ever returned. I bet they met the bad end of the Pirate King's curse. Those guys were dumb. Kill all key! That's that cursed island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake! No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me, know what I mean? There's got to be a way to just poof and get rich, you know, poof! See that ship docked there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader! He don't sail too often though, mostly he just hangs a pot leech joint, the end by the square! Oh, you, with the mustache! What's with this stink eye, eh? You got something to say? Right, then ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia, I am. I can answer anything. Oh, uh, two whole key. Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for, for a curse from the Pirate King. Alright, well, it seems our best lead would be Flavio. For a bob -omb, blowing up is like throwing a po punch for an un- <laughs> For a bob -omb, blowing up is like throwing a punch for an ordinary bloke. If you want to leave the biggest impression, you got to do it with perfect timing. Me mum said that once you learn that timing, you're finally an adult bob -omb. Ah, mum. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes. And freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always young, long for yet more, ah? Huh? What is missing from my life? This, tear, this tears at my very insides. I must know, what do I lack? Uh... Thrills. Thrills, you say, ah? Uh, I suppose one does need some thrills every now and then. There is nothing like the feeling of being alone on a mountain, shivering to death. Ah, no, foolish Flavio, not chills, you silly man. What I need are thrills. Wait, hold the horses, that is it. Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me, a hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just streaks that of... Romance and thrills and emotion and even money. Do you not know of the tale? The Pirate King's treasure? Hidden on Killhall Key? Ah, well, tales say that the Pirate King, Cortez, hid his hoard of pirate booty there. He said, You want my treasure? You can have it. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Eek! It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Kilalki. But that will not stop Flavio. The treasure is there, yes, and I'm going to prove it. For I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sefer sailor of the seven seas. What is it that you are saying? Talk of a legendary treasure here beneath Rogueport? Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like this in this dull armpit of a town. You could not be believing each stupid rumor some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no! Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? W well, hand it over. Rather, I mean show me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Killhall Key. You swine, you mean to steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man? Well, now I am confused. You are looking for the things known as the crystal stars. But now that I am thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... Ah, stop such stuff, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. 
I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Keelhalt Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Yeah, all right. Ah, yes, yeah, so it is you, ah. Uh. Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have cropped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty, she is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Ah, yes, did you speak? Yes, yes, of course, the problem that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator is, of course, the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now here's the real problem. The waters around Kilhal Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a, how you say, a pickle. Oi, Flavio. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Popatch. You can solve our problem, then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a legendary fiend. No, uh, a le I've heard talk of a fiend. No, a legendary sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery. A salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he said to have the helmsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. The thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen the him on the seas of late. Boss or boom, problem solved. Let us scout out this Barbary fellow and get him on board. <sniffs> As is customary, my captain will handle our negotiations. That w would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? <laughs> then it is decided. You must find this Barbary and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. <laughs> oh yes, I'm gonna be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave port. Oh, uh, pleased to meet uh, your acquaintance. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Starboard ho, port ho, giant monster blooper ho. I'm practicing my hose. Yeah, girl, I get a lot of hoes, Mario. I might as well tell you, my brother went to Kiel Hall Key and never returned. I get woozy just thinking of it, but I've decided to work up my courage and sail there. I, I always dreamed of the day I'd leave this town. I don't care if there are pirates or ghosts or undead vampires where we're going. It's got to be worlds better than this stink hole. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so... We gotta find... Bobbery. If we are to accomplish this task...
Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the, might not be fond of this old place. All right. Maybe he knows. Bobbery! That old sea dog lives just to the right of my house if you're facing the front. Hello, Zero Kirby. They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Okay, so right here. So we gotta figure out how to get in there. Oh, the tantalizing star piece on the roof. Hey, it's the mustache. You remember me, right? Pierre the Thief. I gotta be straight here. Ishnail told me to wash my hands at thievery. So, I can't be a geologist. I can't be a thief. What should I do, you think? Do I have no talents? <laughs> That's funny. Hey you! Yeah, old Chumpy! You say you went to a place called Twilight Town? Doesn't ring a bell. Sounds like you got a lot of problems to deal with, including too much travel. Okay. That doesn't help me, sir. Okay, that's not working. So... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now that I got Josh, I can go, I can do this. The other day I saw this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing. But you know, actually, he might have been a bandit. Maybe that's why he was sneaking into chimneys. So yeah, there's some stuff we can find now that we're up here. Like a shine sprite. That's a big help. Yeah, give it the old wiggle. I... How did I do that? Okay, so there's- there's a chimney right there, as that guy was subtly referring to. But there's also this. There might be something back here. Okay, window. No, nothing- nothing really. At least as far as I can tell. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm called Grifty, the Traveling Minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. But I know of a few stories that surround the town of Rogueport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will require just a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? Oh, dang, there's... There's a lot. There's a lot here. Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor, but it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a great calamity befell the city, but nay, twas a demon. The city sank below ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land, and its den, its palace, grew rich with the treasures stolen from all over the world. If there's another tip, okay, so it's not, it's not too long. Making my tongue dry, though. In order to increase its already formidable power, the demon created crystal stars to hold the essence of the heavens. These stars were scattered across the land, the better to exert the demon's influence. One of the castles built to contain these stars still stands near Petal Meadows. So there's some lore.
One day there came a hero that could vanquish the fell demon. You mean, you mean foul demon? The young toad from Petal Meadows was strong of arm but shy of voice. All those around the boy teased him endlessly about the way he spoke. But when the demon cast its fearful gaze across the lands and reached out, the young toad used his strength and honor to defend his people. And he became a hero to all, despite his odd voice. There was a wise Goomba from Bogley Woods gifted in knowledge of the world. When beasts rose to take the woods, this knowledge helped the people fight them. And this Goomba who knew the way that every monster would attack. She began to think of a way to banish all monsters from the land. Oh, okay. Because I, I, I was thinking fell like... Oh, it, it, it had fallen, it had been defeated, but I'm like, it hadn't been defeated. A Koopa who traveled the world alone learned of the darkness covering the land. He went alone with it wherever evil dwelt, and banished it with shell and sheer bravado. The monsters grew to fear this scar-riddled Koopa who thwarted them at every turn. But the, grave, but the brave Koopa was finally taken in a trap set for him by the monsters. But then a Boo who fought for the monsters came and used her magic to free him. The brave Koopa spirit had melted the heart of the cold Boo lass. The Boo used her powerful magic to learn more about the evil they faced. We cannot destroy this darkness alone, she decided, her face a grim mask. We need the Toad Hero of Petal Meadows and the Wise Goomba of Bogley Woods. The Boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so the four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. The power of the world-devouring demon was greater than any could imagine. But the wise Goomba soon realized that this was the power of the crystal stars. She thought of a way to take the stars and use them against the demon. She told the other heroes her plan and set it in motion, banishing their fears. The Boo's magic and the Toad's strength created a gap in the demon's defenses. At that moment, the brave Koopa seized the stars and succeeded in badly damaging the demon. But even the brave Koopa's stroke was not enough to end the demon's reign. The wise Goomba thought of another use for the crystal stars in that dire hour. She suggested sealing the demon forever with the crystal stars. All agreed. The heroes matched their strengths with the power of the crystal stars. And they successfully sealed the demon's soul within the deepest part of the palace. Together they made it that only all seven stars could break the seal. After the demon was sealed within the Palace of Shadow, many refused to come near that place of terror. But as the years passed, entire generations forgot, and the penniless and the immoral began to congregate in this once barren place. This place soon became a populous harbor, the town of Rogueport, and some even began to say that the underground city held a legendary treasure. But they were unaware that the demon slept beneath them still. Okay. Yeah, big, big, fat, freaking lore dump. There you go. Anyway, let's just go in here. What do you blokes want? Admiral Barbary, I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out you're Admiral Barbary. Hmm, huh, what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Keelhaul Key. 
Awfully sorry, dear fellows, but when I say no, what I mean is no. Now away with you. Well, I'm going to steal your shine sprite. So what are you going to do about that? Hmm? Hang on, can I get can I get over there? No, probably not. What's the next move, Chief? This salty dude's going nowhere fast. I can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean, anyway? You know what we ought to do? We gotta find someone who knows who, what this dude's deal is. Uh. Admiral Barbary won't go to sea? That's a setback. Hmm. I don't know the man myself, so I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'd be willing to bet that Podley knows a thing or two. Okie dokie. Let's go to the bar. You say Bobbery won't go to sea, huh? Well, I can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobberies back on the water? Oh, is that it? Is that it? Now I see. You want to, um, to mount an expedition to kill Hull Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not all Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could. And all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? We have no choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should su succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so that he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, Podley, thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez.
What? Oh, by Blabberton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Pardon? A letter, you say? F for me? What? Scarlet, this is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I'm no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I'd have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Uh, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? I love that his, uh, his key is a steering wheel. Yes, love, I was happy, my sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Q-Hole Key? Oh, yeah. If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Barber, yes! The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Yeah, like, these games have a lot of really fun designs in them. You know, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to say anything else. But just know that these games had some fun designs in them. Uh, what was that? You can't email me when I'm going through a screen transition. Who is this? Oh, Patuni. Hi, Mario. How are you? I'm, uh, good. No, very good. No, great! Lots of stuff has changed here, but not the Elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like a place some nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. Okay, if you ever have the time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise. And there's an egg, I guess. What are your thoughts on Origami King? It, it's a lot better than Sticker Star and Color Splash, but still not quite enough to please me. Though, granted, I've never played it. I've watched it played. I, I have seen it played, but I've never actually played it. So I can't speak on the gameplay exactly. Oh, the smell of the sea. I've forgotten how sweet a scent it can be. Yeah, I do believe Zero Kirby's quite fond of it. I knew you would get Barbary on board, you wonderful mustached man, you. To you, I must say ahoy. It was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Uh, no, not yet. Because I need to... I need to spin my <laughs> shine sprites real quick. And then we will- then we will head off. But yeah, I've- I've said before, but like... Origami King is, in my opinion, the closest... ...that the new trilogy has come to being, like, actually good. But at the same time, because of that, it kind of makes me angry. <laughs> you know? It's like, it's close, but no cigar. And that's, that's what upsets me about it. Hello, Greeny. It, it's like they, they got to the end and then they stopped just shy of the finish line. 
That's- that's what really gets me about Origami King. Sticker Star is just god-awful, and... Honestly, I barely know anything about Color Splash. As far as I'm aware, that is the one that is the most... existent. <laughs> Out of all the Paper Mario games, Color Splash is one of them. Okay, let's- let's shove off. Let's go. Our destination is Dread Key Hall Key. Wait up! Oh, yeah, he went on the boat. This is X not here. Uh, did the, what is what is with my reading ability? This is X not one here. Come in, dude. I repeat, X not one here. Over. Roger. Reading you five by. Infiltration is successful. X not black aboard vessel. I repeat, X not black is on board the vessel. Chapter five: The Key to Pirates. Ah, the ocean. Month star, day XO. <laughs> Over the protest of my crew, the SS Flavion has set sail. Yeah, the chapter names are kind of... <laughs> Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ah, I must scoff! Flavio will show them guts! Another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. Things are going smoothly, perhaps even too smoothly for my comfort. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Got them allergens. Skull Captain cast his gaze. Red jewel shines and plays. Boom bossa boom festival. It doesn't rhyme. The stash brother's best of friends. Three times red stash lands on his end. Blue stash's belly four times is whacked. So let's hear those fireworks go boom. At the boom bossa boom festival. <laughs> Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh, ho, ho. I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my mini tales of bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in a deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smiled, for I knew I'd prevail. Right, he started again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's nowhere to escape to! I'll just have to listen till he's finished! Yeah, if you interrupt him mid-story, he absolutely loses it, too! Uh, why is the- what? What- what- what's going on here? The ship's stopping! Oi, Master Flavio! Awful sorry to interrupt that wicked story. But the ship stopped. Ah, stopped, you say to me, after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Hmm? So take care of it. Hmm, I see no issue with the ship itself, and I assure you that I'm not as so rusty a sailor that I would miss it. I'll investigate right quick. Wait a tick.
Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomping moment, you scallywags. Bonging. I <laughs> love that sound effect. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. Oh, no! Um, what the Sigma? The, the, they're right here! What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? Ooh. Ooh. No, no, no! They're upon us! The pirate ghosts! All of them rumors were true! What? Huh? What do we do? We gotta get out of here! Ah! D do not panic yourselves! This is just a dream that we are all having! Awake! No, no, quickly, quickly, m move the, the b -b boat. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ghostly ooing thing. Are you really the savage pirate king? Help me! Walk up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Don't panic. Relax, 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 I say. You simply must take it easy. Uh, what? Bobbery, no! Excuse me, listen everyone. If you could form an orderly line without shoving right after... They're rocking my boat. We must get out of here! Abandon ship! Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself! Um, that, that's gonna be a problem. That is gonna be a bit of a, a problem for us. Fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. But strange irony that this island, Kilhol Key, was our intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Barbary. It pains me to think that they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, ah? Uh, we may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's flotsam washed in, and now we have salty sea bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on this salty bounty of the sea. But then what, I ask? We have built a few huts from the washed-up timbers. Ah, poor sweet SS Flavion. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have no sign of Barbary and the others, and my heart she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Three days on the isle now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dream of a return to Rogueport. Oi, Captain Stash! It ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come and have a look. Oh. Alright, just a minute. I gotta look around here a little bit, because there might be secrets. There might be a sea crest. Oh, yeah, see? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You gotta align yourself just right with this stupid thing, if you want to get it. Okay. See, she'll- she'll save us a lot of time. She will save us a lot of time searching. Hello, friend. Wacko! I'm Wacka! We got some good today weather today, right, right? Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today, wackadoo. Hmm. 
hit him. Not right now. <laughs> Captain, please help us! Flavio and Papatch are in a huge fight! And what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when all you saw those all when you that's all, folks. You turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quaking in his boots, fancy pants. Wait, wait one moment. Did you just call the great Flavio fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Why, you little cyclops! Flavio demands satisfaction! You, me, hammers at dawn! Oi, that's right, fine by me! I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads! They're here! Get, get, get them, Stash! Them ghosts are back! I doubt you can do the Flavio glitch in this version. Sadly, probably not. M Mario, front and center! This is an order! Take care of these ghosts! Oh. <laughs> okay, well first I need to switch to Goomber. That's an ember. Sort of a pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. Of course, since this thing is a flame, touching it will hurt. Didn't Mama teach you that? Here's another thing you should know. Something horrible is likely to happen if you try to attack it with fire. Looks like it's susceptible to ice or explosive attacks, though, so that's something. If you get hit by a flame attack, you'll catch fire, so try to guard well. But yeah, I... Oh, that's good. Oh, that's not. Well, yeah, I, I know... I know about Wacka being involved with the secret boss, but I don't know the exact details. Yeah, so Vivian is out for these guys. <laughs> Vivian is right out. But yeah, I know there are two new bosses in the remake. Oh, hey, Luigi. Oh, hi, Mark. Okay, bye-bye. But yeah, there's two... There's two new bosses in the remake. I know Wacka has something to do with one of them. I did not mean to release it that early. We're very close to a level up. Yeah, I don't know the timing on these guys yet. I know the timing on that very well. Oh, so close. So close to that juicy level up. Yes, you're a blooming beast, Captain Stash! Why, he, he has become way more Australian. Too early to celebrate, no? There are surely more of them elsewhere, huh? Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that is what must be. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this, I brook no argument. Ah, yes, of course, Mario. Perhaps you could handle the exploration of this island. Yeah, I was, I was planning on doing that anyway. That is my boy. I know you would go forth with boldness. We count upon you.
That's the entrepreneur, Flavio. He calls himself the leader of this group. He's a funny enough guy, but he mostly loafs around and makes other folks do his work. Not much of a leader, huh? But what a dresser. That's Papatch the Babam. He's a salty old sailor and a totally solid deckhand. I heard he built all these shant shanties by himself too. Still, he's afraid of ghosts. The eastern end of this island seems awful mysterious. Good luck, Captain Stash. Ah, what's gonna happen to all of us? That's a toad sailor. He was with us on the ship, you remember? Seems like a hard worker. Doesn't he look reliable? Might have to drop a totally solid deck in your toilet soon. Hey, hey did you find anything? You gotta find a way for us to get back home. So there's a shop here. I'm very close to getting something. Uh, let's see, what do we got that we can store in here? I'll store the regular mushroom. Oh, they did, they did a real good job with this song, though. I think this is actually- this, this actually might be better than the original. Hang on, we, we need to- we need to check out what the original sounds like. Pretty good, but the the remake is is definitely a glow up, though. Now yeah, let's. What was I in here for? Oh yeah, I was here to take the music off. In. In. This is a shanty town built by Papatch and some of the sailors who came with us. Blue ocean, sandy beaches, a shop and inn. You could live pretty comfortably here. You'd always have to worry about harmful UV, UV rays though, you know? Nah, see, I'm, I'm a gamer. I don't have to worry about UV rays. And there's, uh... The inn. What do you want money for? There's... We literally built this civilization, civilization like three days ago. Also, I'm you know I'm kind of trying to save the world here, you know. Kind of trying to to do some stuff. You you could you could really throw me a line here. Cut me some slack, green fuzz. Aw, oh, Crash Bandicoot ass music. Okay, well, we already got these guys, so... We'll give Miss Mouse some time in the sunlight. Literally. Oh, it's got the Koika! Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, she's got the slap! She's got both slap! Oh, oh, it's left and right. What'd you think of the Macho Grubba remake? That's another one of my favorites. Yeah, that was pretty good. Though, my personal favorite so far has been the Magnus Von Grapple remix. Like, that was already one of my favorite songs in the game, and they made it even better, for the most part. A three-hour tour. Okay, tree. Ah, uh, fruit. Mango. 
Grotuses as a major glow up? Well, I, I'm looking forward to that then. The head rattle badge. Nice. Pink fuzz. Nope, leave me alone. I can't use any more item. Mm. Uh. What is this again? I. Exnop Fortress didn't hit the same. Aw, oh, I hate to hear that, to be honest. Oh, wait, 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 there's a new thing we can do. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. But yeah, there's a new thing we can also do. Oh, wait, no, it's gotta be the one in front, I think. I mean, I guess I could just turn the old music back on for the x Not Fortress, if I really wanted to. Please don't use- please don't use it. Dang it, he used it! But yeah, uh, Miss Mouse can steal items. She can steal items from the enemies. But apparently only the one in front, so... Okay, th thank you for that. Oh, right, this is the one that steals FP instead of HP. Well, that's not so fun. That's not so good. That's not so good! Maybe the next one will be better. Uh, level up! Level up! More bag! More bag! Put the money in the bag! <laughs> Their behavior slightly bugged in this version. Oh, yeah? How's that? <laughs> yeah, the thing about playing RPGs is that my tongue gets real dry. Flower Fuzzies only target Mario for some reason. Oh. Uh, yeah, that is strange. And we know that it's a bug. I like how I still have the puny orb. Uh, what, what am I, what am I doing? What am I, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to the badges, okay. I <laughs> sorry, sorry, just brain fart for a second. So, I had the power plus, I, you need six for that. In the original, they're able to target both. I mean, I don't know, I just figured maybe, maybe they just changed it for some reason. Now what do we, what do we got? I need three more. I need three more somehow. Hmm. Now if I, if I took that off, I'd lose some defense, but I'd gain extra power. So I needed five. Did I need five or six? Yeah, I needed six, so, uh... You know what? I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna put power plus on. Yeah, so, giving up a little bit of defense to make Mario stronger. That's the kind of- that's the choice you gotta make. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to hurt him. I wanted the hands of fate to doom this man. But yeah, see, I can knock those dudes out. What does tease do? Making- makes them dizzy. Okay. Oh! Okay, I figured out- I figured out the timing. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, crap, I forgot! He can multiply! He can multiply by budding!
But yeah, I'm probably gonna... But I I'm trying to do the super guard, but it's not, it's not going so great. Probably gonna focus mainly on BP. Because like Kirby says, you can get a lot out of that. One thing I dislike about the modern trilogy is the inflated HP attack numbers. Yeah, it, it's it's funny because I, I saw a post about... about these games the other day where it's like Paper Mario fans win <laughs> when an attack does 20 damage. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I, I think that the r relatively low damage numbers are something that set it apart from other RPGs. Was, was she talking about that? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get into a battle with this guy. Color Splash doesn't even give you numbers. Cool, thank you. Game design. But listen, listen, it avoids the carrot and string problem. Carrot and stick. I mean, I guess the string is also involved. That's a putrid piranha. It's a poisonous piranha plant. That co that color's totally sickly. <sniffs> it bites and it at and it attacks with super rank poison breath. Breath mint table four. If you get poisoned, your HP will slowly go down. So you know, try not to. Okay, one down. Oh, that's cool, thank you. Oh, that's cool, thank you! <laughs> nope. Okay, so my plan... You still do plan on streaming the modern trilogy in the distant future, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, like, like you said... Probably gonna be a while because after this game is over, the next on the docket is gonna be Superstar Saga, and then Partners in Time, and then Super Paper Mario. That's that's the rough order we're gonna do things. So like, well, I will play it when I get there chronologically. You're doing the RPGs in release order, yeah. Like I said, I was going... I was going to do Superstar Saga before this, but then, you know, the remake got announced. So, you know, I, I shifted plans, because, like, again, there was no universe where I did not play this remake. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, you know what, whatever. Okay, yeah, see, there we go. Oh, secret block. Oh, yeah, Brothership looks... We were talking about that earlier. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Looking forward to playing that. Looking forward to playing Mario and Luigi again in general. Gonna be a good time to be had by all. I'm pooped. Still can't believe Mario and Luigi is not dead. It is good day to be not dead. <laughs> Ow. I'm tempted to play the Bowser's Inside Story remake since it's been sitting on my 3DS home menu for a while now. Yeah, I'm... I never ended up getting the Bowser's Inside Story remake because... I don't know, I just never saw the point. And apparently a lot of people agree because it's apparently the worst selling game in the entire Mario series. But yeah, it's just like, okay, so... 
something right near us, huh? Oh, no, sorry about that. But yeah, like, it's... <clears throat> what is this? So, like, okay, okay. Bowser's Inside Story. It's on a console that could already play the game. Right? And it ran at half the frame rate. Like, what- what is the deal? Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, actually. Is it this? No? Is it this? Maybe it's up at the top, I don't know. That's kind of the thing about Miss Mouse. She kind of- she makes me a little paranoid. It's like, what- what- what is it? Where? Oh, this is to, like, show you where to place Yoshi. Brothership's being developed by the Diamond Pearl remake people. Yeah, a lot of people were like doom posting about that. They were like, oh no, oh no, anyone but them. But honestly, I, I wouldn't use Pokemon as... <laughs> I wouldn't use Pokemon as like a measuring stick because Pokemon's kind of fucked, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. It's like, okay, we're gonna- you gotta make this big RPG and you have, uh, six months and a ham sandwich to do it. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll hear them out. Yeah, boy. And yeah, yeah. Superstar Saga ran at 62. See, I don't understand why Bowser's Inside Story Remake ran at 30. Because it's still sprite-based. Like, like this game right here, the frame rate is halved, right? The original GameCube release ran at 60. You know, we all know that. But see, it's received a significant graphics upgrade. Like, everything is way higher poly. There's a ton of new lighting effects. Reflections are freaking everywhere. I don't understand why Bowser's Inside Story had that issue. Because, again, it's still sprite-based. You could maybe argue... You could maybe argue, like, okay, they're better-looking sprites. Now, I'm not saying they are, but, you know, you could argue that. But they're still sprites. They're... They're, like, at most, two triangles. And that's assuming it's running in a 3D engine. But yeah, Superstar Saga did it no problem. What What... Legitimately, what happened? <laughs> what? How did... How did... How did you do this? Hang on, let me, let me use, get some freaking FP back, because my, my inventory is full. You know what, we'll, we'll eat the soup. Probably lack of optimization due to it being a rush job. Yeah, you can tell Alpha Dream needed money and they needed it fast. Right, so. But yeah, I just, I don't know, I was never compelled to get it. These cursed ghosts blast it all! By blubbery blotches! Is that Mario over there? You're live, old boy! Right, you came in just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant! Huh? But what about you, Afro? We gotta get you out of here, too! Dream Team played at 30? I, I didn't remember that. It's, it's been a while since I played Dream Team. Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep these ghouls busy while you get out of here. Flee! That's an order! Let me do what I must do! Now away with you! Ah! Well, Bobbery here thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? Yeah, Dream Team did have actual 3D environments, so yeah, it, it makes a bit more sense why it would have a frame rate drop. Oh, Bobbery, please forgive our cowardice. We up and left you and everything was happening so quickly. Forgive us. Oh, hey. Excuse me, but I better be going also. And hey, you, out there looking at the screen. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario. Or else. What do you mean? I... 
I, I just, I, I just, what do you mean who I really am? Who, who is that? Looking at the screen, has that guy lost it or what? Ooh, in coupon. I can't use any more. <laughs> God, these this inventory is so small. Okay, well we'll use up a fresh juice. Okay, fresh juice. Okay, go down here. Oh, what? No, no, no. What's that over there? I don't know. I can't get to it. <laughs> can't get over there. Maybe some other way. Oh, wait. This is the island with the... This is the island with the coconut. And I don't have any inventory space for the coconut, so... I mean, I'm just I'm just gonna leave it because I mean I can you probably use it for recipes, but I I'm not gonna bother with that right now. But I need to use more items. You're gonna want to keep one in your inventory. Okay, all right. Okay, we'll we'll throw something out. How about this? How about this? We'll get rid of the mango. A lot of delicious fruits here. Oh, very rickety. Very crickety. But yeah, you could probably fall down here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait, why am I even trying to do that? I can't hold that item. I can't hold that. Oh, oh, oh. So this is how the legend of the sea meets his end, eh? That's a badge? Oh, okay. I, I thought it was like that snowman item that you could use up. Oh, wait, can I not? Can I not? I might not be able to do it anyway. Because, yeah, you need to get down there somehow. Oh, no, you just do that. Oh, yes, makes Mario fireproof. Got it. <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. All right, now let us kill. Oh wait, I have a new star power I could be using. Does this hurt him? No, it does not. He has the- he truly has the iron mouth. I pressed A much too early. Okay, what is the new star power? Art attack. Damages all enemies you encircle with the star. Okay, let's try it. Let's- let's see what this does. Oh yeah, that's pretty. that's pretty good. I understand why this is so expensive. Yeah, that'll- that'll do- ooh, yeah, d give me- give me more star points, please. That's the good stuff. 24- 24! Okay, everything's fine. All the pain of it all. 
Oh, Mario, old boy. Uh, <coughs> I guess those blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Mario, please hear my last request. I must thank you for taking me out to sea one last time. But there's one thing I need before I go to my rest. Chocola Cola. I was saving that one bottle, my last memory of Scarlet, to celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the flotsam drifting toward the island, so it must be somewhere. If I might just have one sip before my final voyage. <coughs> uh, give me that Chocola Cola, old boy. Yeah, and again, that's a, that's a reference to Superstar Saga, which unfortunately we do not get because we have not played it. What is that? I can't get it. Where is, what is that? A spite pouch temporarily does half damage. Oh my god. You know what? I'll just I'll get rid of this. Is Paper Jam even worth playing? Honestly, I think Paper Jam is, like, fun gameplay-wise, but, like, story and characters and all that, yeah, it's just, like, nothing. So, that- that's my stance on it. Wait, is that something? Yep. Dream Team is probably worse gameplay-wise, but definitely has more sauce, you know what I mean? I, I just wish the tutorials weren't so bad, because then it, it would definitely be one of my favorites. But they are, so it, it isn't. <laughs> so I have to find the soda. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, that, that's probably what Miss Mouse was smelling. Yeah, that would that would make sense. It by all accounts it adds up. What what time is it right now? Where's my mouse? Oh, okay, it's it's almost eleven where I am. I usually stop around the two hour mark, but I'm also having a good a good time. A good time. Ow. And we're, we're close to another level. That will be quite good. Yeah, this... I, I mean, I know it's just, like, tropical music, but, like, Crash Bandicoot as all hell. Oh, one hit! Tilt that man in the first strike. It seems like Paper Jam isn't even that engaging gameplay-wise. I mean, that's, you know... If, I mean, maybe you disagree with me. I mean, mostly I'm thinking of the battles, admittedly. Like, the battle systems are still as good as they've ever been. Oh, I- I missed! No! So oh, wait, does- will it do damage to me? Well, it doesn't matter, because you're dead. I think they could have gone a bit farther in making Paper Mario play like his series. Yeah, when I first- when the game was first revealed, which actually I think we have records in Club Saturn of when that happened, but, uh, when the game was first revealed, I definitely felt like, you know, 
Paper Mario could have been more Paper Mario-y. But at the same time, like you say, it probably would have been in the style of Sticker Star. So, you know, actually, maybe it's fine. Maybe, maybe it's fine what they went with. Maybe that's okay. Wasn't it, like, around here or something? No? Paper Jam is also responsible for your beloved white outlines. That is true. That is very true. Honestly, I've said before, but... Modern Paper Mario has a lot of issues. The white outlines are kind of low on the list. That said, I, I prefer this by a country mile. Oh, that's not good. Please do not make me fall asleep. Uh-oh! Like I said, though, it did the level. The level is coming. Yeah, I think this game's solution is probably the best way, like, the best way to go about it because, you know, it conveys the whole, like, oh, they're made of paper kind of thing, but it's less in your face about it. So I, I think it's a good compromise. I will say one thing that I'm not crazy about graphically in the newer games is they got rid of they got rid of his gradient. They took away my man's gradient. This pleasant gradient shows up at your door. And we're going for badge, baby. We are bagging up. The Spinia's always looked a bit weird <laughs> in the original to me. I mean, honestly, I can just accept that as, yeah, it's Mario. Everybody looks freaking weird. Tornado jump. Tornado hold! Ooh, power rush when I have 5 HP or less. Wearing 2 increases it further. Let's see, what- what can I use this power? <laughs> you lose hammer. FP plus. Could do that. Oh wait, I can actually get my damage dodge back. <laughs> that's- that's probably what I'll do. And you know what? Put this on, why not? Okay, you know what? I think I need to probably store a couple items. <laughs> it's less the design and weird and more this is one of the only enemies in the game that exists in 3D space. Okay, yeah, that's... That's a valid point. <laughs> valid. I accept this. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna put the Ultra Mushroom in, because again, I don't need that kind of power right now. Put the in coupon in there. Okay, yeah, that's- that's probably good. <laughs> Admiral Bobbery, whatever happened to him? Oh, Bobbery! Ah, you are still alive! Well, we have some fortune left. Such relief for Flavio. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. Well, everyone is accounted for. Well, now wait one moment. Am I wrong, or are we still one man short? Admiral Skibbity. Th that's right. B -b -b Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from the ghosts. Please, we gotta go back and help him. 
What lunacy bursts forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives? What fortitude? Mario, front and center, I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. Hmm? What is that you say? Chocola Cola? Well, why would I have that? But, uh, yes, by the way, Flavio is merely curious. What do you need it for? But now, the Admiral may soon perish, and he wants to drink it as his last wish? Ah, so what are we dealing with here is sort of a last request, am I correct? Well, Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach, but for this noble cause, I yield. However, this Chocola Cola is part of my, uh, well, our supplies, which we need to survive. So I will need you to find something to eat to replace this. On this, I do not budge. Hmm, yes. I'm sure there's something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. Okay, so that's why I wanted the Coke of Nut. Aha! A coconut, is it not? Well, that is island fare, but somewhat cliched. Ah, well, perhaps I had set my hopes too high for a foraging non gourmand such as you. Well, here you go. Take the Chocola Cola and give my regards to the Admiral. Hmm? Oh, that's not it. <laughs> Actually, it's Barbary's. Tell him to waft the bouquet. Swizzle it gently and savor all of the fine fizziness. I like that, as with uh, Superstar Saga, <laughs> they they just treat it like wine. It's it's wine. <sighs> I can finally get this now. How did I miss that? Yes! Die! Hmm, now can I kill? Can I kill? Ah, oh, crap. He's gonna use- he's gonna use it! Uh You know what, whatever. Do it. But he's gonna use it anyway. Oh, okay. Mario got a shower. <laughs> uh, please. Please. Stop stealing my foot, I beg you. What the- what, what was that?! Why you shock me? I'm I am going to sneeze at any minute now. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Buff that I- I very much do not need right now. Yeah, entirely too much damage. Wait, wait, wait. You smell some? What is it, boy? Timmy fell down the well? I, I, I don't, I don't see it. I will find it at some point. Okay, here's some more backtracking you gotta do. Distinctive bouquet. You've you brought it. Ah, oh, this glorious flavor, dear boy. It awakens the mouth. Oh, the sea was generous enough to deliver this one last grace, eh? I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I shall be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario.
finished. <laughs> hey, Gonzalez. I, I think maybe Bobbery's just sleeping. Yeah. He is. And here I was, getting all choked up. Give him a wake-up whack. Pirates! Where are the pirates? Not quite with it yet, huh? What now? Oh, Mario old boy, it's you! You have adventures in the afterlife as well? Capital! Hey, you're still alive, you bozo. Um, yes, well, really? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors? Oh, right. Now I recall, Mario old boy, we still have work to do. You better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? Bobbery joined your party. Yep, so if you remember Bomb It, Bomb It. He does what she does, as we does together. Yep, I got it. Bomb Squad. Mattel Electronics presents B-17 Bomber. Well, okay. I'll say, this rock looks like a fiendish grinning skull. And there's a spot you could insert something. I feel certain I've seen something the same shape as this indentation, but I can't bring it to my mind. Blast it. Get some experience. Yeah, just knock them out real quick, real quick and fast. Yeah, there you go. Oh wait, there's more! You know what, let's kill them with art. You're gonna beat the devil out of it. Yeah, give me mini monies. I like to have the monies. Look, Mr. Squidward, money! <laughs> okay, you know what, let's let's get Bobbery in here so that we can see what he can do. Is Bobbery the last partner you get? Because I'm I'm trying to remember a partner that you get in uh chapter six and I'm drawing a blank.
Yes! Yeah, so we got all the partners now. Okay, te yeah, technically Miss Mouse can be the last one you get. Ow. One less than the previous game, interestingly. Wait, hang on. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to blow him up. You know, it, it's pretty interesting that, like, Bobbery... Bobbery can explode, and, you know, he's totally fine after doing it. It, it sure would be weird if a later game would contradict this. Yes, die. Honestly, though, the Mario series has been a little inconsistent about whether or not it's fatal for them to do that. But, I mean, if it is, that's... that's kind of messed up, ain't it? His name's not even Bobby, because he, they were legally not allowed to call him that. Uh, I mean, because, you know, it, 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 his story arc. Yeah, it's his story arc. Okay, I need a... I need a brief rest in the end, I think. So give me my, my pass, my hall pass. Thank you. Ah, it is Barbary. Welcome back to you. Do you know how worried we were? My stomach has been most upset. I must worry about everyone here, but who worries for Flavio? No one. Do you know how hard it is for me to sit here in safety and worry so much? I do not know what is out there waiting to lurch in and snack upon me. We do not even know how to get home for the sake of the blue briny sea. But no more yelling. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. Flavio, old boy, I must say, you talk rather too much. Such insolence! Mm, I growl at you like an angry jungle beast. I ought to... So in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of earlier... I swear, I, I think Bobbery's accent is different each time he talks. There's a rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Call it an old sea bomb's intuition, but that skull rock smells suspicious. Yeah, hey, Bobbery, you want to know what really smells suspicious? Flavio's armpit. Uh, smells like low tide. <laughs> but seriously, you may be onto something with that skull rock. I want to say that's where the treasure is. Well, anyone could figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. See ya, uh, Kirby. I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from invasion. 
Captain Mario, carry on. I'm sorry to make so many requests, but you know. Blavio, you old cash grubber. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Oh, well, yes, uh, Admiral. You see, I... Well, yes, you have a point. Let us decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate the Skull Rock? There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square, eh, what? Um, no, not fair. Flavio hit you all. <laughs> this. Okay. So where them enemies gonna be? Where them enemies gonna be? They gonna respawn, I know it. I know it. Oh wait, there you go. There you go! Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Probably would have been better for me to use Mario though. Art attack comes in real handy later in the game. It comes in handy right now. Ah, now what is the, all this? A dead end taunting Flavio with its dead endness. But hmm, is this? I think this is the skull rock Barbary blabbered about. Well, it is positively reeks of ancient secret, yes? Let us plunge into this puzzle. What is it you ask of me? You want Flavio to lend you something, is that correct? Now what could I possibly have that you would need with such anxiousness? What? You want me to lend you the Skull Gem? You really, really need it? This is the heirloom of the House of Flavio, you know. But I suppose it's alright, because I am Flavio, he of such ludicrous wealth. I'm just lending it though, don't dare run off with it. Do not make me dock pay. <coughs> Oh, the big man and the little man. Skull Captain casts his gaze. Red jewel shines and plays. The Stash Brothers' best of friends. Okay. Three times red stash. Four times blue stash. Oh. <laughs> I had to reset it, I think. But you know what? More experience for the experience hole. <laughs> nope. Yep, apparently.
Oh, wait, wait. What? Hang on, I might need to hear that. I might need to hear <laughs> that song again. Pressed it way too late. <laughs> yes, watch me style upon the ghosts. Okay, now what? What does this- what does this man freaking say? Three times red. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The gemstone... It glows with sinister fury! Oh, never mind. No, it doesn't. Okay, go in there and explode. Oh, such excitement! The cave entrance! Hmm? Hmm? What? Ah? Uh, my skull gem! M M mario what were you thinking? That gem was part of the house of Flavio! Oh, never mind. Whew. Oh, what a happy day! I have my skull gym back. My jolly is, has my jolliness has no end. Now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let those back at camp worry about me further. You two understand, yes? So let me know when you find that glittery treasure. All right. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers entered the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Ooh, this area looks nice. Okay, but I think it might be for the best that I leave this for next time. So, uh, yeah, thank you for joining me, everybody. Uh, next stream, I don't know what it'll be. I haven't decided yet. Maybe more Peach. I don't know. I don't know. I really, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'll see. We'll see when we get there. But, yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Hopefully... We have seen audio improvements. Hopefully things have sounded very good. Uh, bye.